Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the price action of Cardano, as Cardano is having a very nice bounce after yesterday's pullback. Is Cardano positioning itself for more upside coming into the weekend? I'm going to pull up this chart and I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. Cardano up on the daily chart. So I'll start the analysis off by toggling into the price action, and I'm really liking this bounce that Cardano is putting in at the time of recording. This celery stick that Cardano is printing is looking to try to engulf yesterday's dump candle, but I do see that the 10 simple moving average is also coming into confluence, adding an extra layer of resistance. And that's coming in around the 34 cent mark. However, if Cardano is able to close a daily candle body closure up above that 10 simple moving average, then it will have officially engulfed yesterday's candle and likely will initiate over time a test of this liquid zone here. Being that this is a daily chart, these things usually take a little bit of time to play out, but if Cardano gets any daily candle body closures above this liquid zone coming in around 39 cents on good volume followed by candle body opens, then I think Cardano is going to be ready for its next major rip to the upside. It is notable that the RSI had some bearish divergence present between this point and this point here, but it is fair to say that, that, that most of that is likely already played out, which is noted by this wick here that came down and tested the top side of this liquid zone around 27 cents. Taking a deeper look at the RSI, I see the RSI is still under pressure as the exponential moving average is negatively sloped to the downside. At the time of recording, it looks like the RSI would like to work its way back up to that moving average, and I would like to see it get a confirmed cross back to the upside. Even better would be if the, uh, if the RSI can get back in the bullish control zone, and that's just going to be signaling to me that the bulls have plenty of ammunition and power to push Cardano up higher if they choose to do so. Down below here on the stochastics, I see the stochastics are pointed to the downside, and they are in the a neutral zone and potentially are forming a trend line between these two touches here. Of course, three touches makes a trend, so this is unconfirmed at this time. Down below in the MACD, I see the MACD fired off that good old sell signal that I never take, and uh, the moving averages are pointed to the downside. However, I do see the histogram is losing its negative momentum, and that's noted by this lighter color bar of negative, negative momentum right here. So all in all, this is looking good. I see that the uh, the uptrend is still intact. You got a high here, a higher high, and it has been printing higher lows along the way. These candle bodies are slightly higher than these candle bodies here and these these wicks as well. And this does look like a tweezer bottom coming in off the uh, 30 simple moving average as well. Of course, uh, this is unconfirmed as I would like to see this candle get above that 30 simple on a, on a candle closing basis. And then... Uh, then likely Cardano is uh, going to, you know, over time work its way back up. Of course, we best fix our gaze over to Bitcoin here as well, as Bitcoin is a uh, deciding factor for the alt sector, because historically speaking, when Bitcoin pulls back, it does take the alts with it. And uh, Bitcoin's obviously been on this beautiful tear, putting in this savage all-time high not too long ago. And uh, we all know that Bitcoin can have these pretty severe pullbacks, even under bullish conditions. At the time of recording, Bitcoin has pulled back uh, to the tune of 31% coming into contact with this 55 exponential moving average here. However, Bitcoin can pull, pull back upwards of 40% in bull markets. And if it was to do that, and I was to drag this down, you can see that 41% uh, comes in pretty much a perfect confluence with the top side of this liquid zone here around the 24,000 and a half mark. Of course, I, I do see the 89 exponential moving average living up above that, and likely there would be a bounce off that at the very least. My condition for that downside movement to take place would be a daily candle body closure below the 55 on good volume and then i would think that downside uh, that downside trajectory and targets would be initiated uh, however so long as bitcoin lives above the 55 and grinds along it i still see bitcoin uh, having a chance to make this the the, uh, the the bottom on its pullback and working its way back up into this liquid zone here but of course we're going to have to just be patient and see what bitcoin decides to do as it is certainly under pressure with the 1021 now uh, forced to, forcing it to the downside and opening several uh, candle bodies below that 21 as well so overall I do view this as a uh, as healthy behavior for the markets as you typically markets don't just go up forever and the faster that they do rise the more aggressive these pullbacks can be but if uh, if if we're going to be seeing a hundred thousand dollar bitcoin one day then these pullbacks are going to be certainly necessary along the way and this won't be the last of its kind at some point I do think the market's going to find its footing if it continues to pull back and uh, the, the bull market will likely proceed macro speaking as of right now it's possible that the market is finding its footing at the time of recording and uh, but we're just going to have to be patient and see what Bitcoin decides to do. Of course, we've got the weekend coming up and then we're going to have a new trading week opening up next week. And that's going to be very important to see how uh, the weekly candle closes and uh, see where things go from there. But all in all, things are looking OK. Uh, 
things could certainly pivot here and work their way back up to the upside. So un until there's any conditions met to the downside, I won't be looking for any downside moves. For Cardano here, I would have to see... Um, First of all, I'd have to see more daily candle body closers below that 21. And the 21 is coming in around 30, 31 cents. If any daily candle body closures happen around there, then likely a test of this, the top side of this liquid zone here coming in around 27 cents. At the time of recording, that's looking like the least probable scenario. But uh, those would be my conditions that would need to be met for me to be confident that uh, Cardano was to roll over and put in a significant top here. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for coming by and checking out this video. I hope you're all doing well out there and have yourselves a powerful day. Bye.